What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Uh, One Piece, episode 266. Patreon members, you guys should be seeing this on Thanksgiving, so you celebrate that. Happy Thanksgiving. YouTube, have no idea when you guys will see this. Maybe, I think probably in the new year, probably. Uh, regardless, things are starting to pick up here a little bit. We finally are off of the sea trains. 100%, I think we're good to go. Uh... Again, I'm still blown away that literally Navy headquarters, like we can see it, like that's how close we are to it. Luffy surrounded by uh, a Naruto clone jutsu, he's got like a thousand marine fodder surrounding him. Uh, they've got colossal titans coming out on their side. And again, you know, the classic One Piece re uh, recipe. All of our forces are scattered in different direction. Luffy's the closest up here. But then you've got Nico, Robin, and Yusup and Frankie like all the way up here. Luffy's back here. The rest haven't even like gotten on off the ship yet. It's an entire mess. Um, it's making me stressful because I don't know. I feel like one where I'm at in One Piece, it's still in the very early stages where sometimes it's very easily predictable look on kind of like how the story is going to go characters aren't going to die etc yada 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 same thing with kind of like early naruto days where before we switched over to shippuden um we're like you can kind of tell like they're not going to do this they're going to do that it's going to turn out like this um i didn't think that one piece was going to take this route as far as us actually reaching ennis lobby and turning into whatever the hell this is because it makes us it puts such a target on our group's back specifically you're literally just like going there and robbing the navy like at their front door i thought they were just gonna be fighting on the sea trains somehow skirt skirt turn around before they get there and get out like everything's okay so i'm a little anxious to see what happens here because like i said you we're right there on the navy's doorstep you don't know who they have on the other side of that wall ready to go. Vice Admiral Okaji and the other admirals could be right there ready to go. There's warlords over there. That, and we are not, like as great as Luffy and Zoro are, we're not prepared for that because we can't even get past CP9 members. So we'll see. Oh, and then we also have the three new CP9 members as well that we'll have to deal with. Um, I'd say what I'm curious probably for the most right now is how do Luffy and Zoro plan to get past the CP9 abilities because we weren't even able to scratch them before. So I'm curious what's going to change this time. We'll see. Pressing play right now. Here we go. And then our mini giants, our abnormals got put down and their colossals are like good to go. Don't give up. Don't run. I still don't understand the concept of this island too, by the way, or how it's even a real thing. Is this man-made 180 degree waterfall or what? Well, y'all got a better plan than just trying to brute force it because that's not going to work. So, does anybody have any strategy? Oh, God. I really feel like I'm watching Attack on Titan. <laughs> Like, it's so pointless to just try to brute force it. Like, what? You're never going to brute force through that, by the way. Is it even safe to be damaging the ground that they're on? Like, you're literally suspended... Essentially in the middle of, an, like, a gap in the ocean. Like, if you break this... Oh, shit! It's a start! Um, 
If this ground breaks, where are we falling to? We're just falling into the abyss. We're going to Davy Jones' locker. We go down there. Somebody come up with some strategy. Don't just try to brute force it in there. It's not going to work. Think, guys. They seem to be confident, but we'll see. Did that do anything? Oh, shit. Cut him right out of his air forces. Pull his ass down. That's the problem with being so big. You're a big ass easy target. Like you're never gonna dodge an attack or get out of the way. Oh shit! A Stegosaurus coming in. Who's break up the? Ooh. We did not just nail this dude down. It's a start? What about the other one? Okay, can we stop celebrating and actually try to get through the door or what? Hello? Uh. Oh god. Well, he just knocked out his own dude, so that works. Good shit. Oh yeah, he's TKO'd. Are they... And I brought this up. They're not the same size as the other, like, actual giants. I mean, I know they're giants, clearly. But the other ones we saw were disgustingly massive. They're not the same ones, right? Four hundred of the thousand that he's taken out. He is going one versus a thousand. I didn't think he'd actually do this. I thought he'd somehow get captured and taken in or something. Yo, knock this dude out. You don't have any like long range projectiles you have to get in <laughs> you have to get within melee range yeah you guys are screwed He's getting false report. I'm so curious how we plan to get through their uh, Sage of Six Paths abilities. Here's the rest. Alright, all the CP9 members in one place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, there's only eight, correct? We're missing one. Or did Nico Robin count as the ninth, but not really the ninth? Or no, she never was actually, no. Braun, the girl, Luchi, Long Nose, and then the three they just showed us. Oh yeah, plus the guy in the chair. No, that's still only eight. Are we missing one somewhere? Is that supposed to be the military symbol? That symbol? Or is that just the Ennis Lobby sim symbol? I don't really like that symbol that much. I'm gonna be honest with you. One, two, three, four. Plus four. Eight. We only have eight. 
政府役人への暴行事件により、罪人カティーフラム、および、Why are they so massive? Bro, there's an elephant in the room. 戦艦襲撃事件における罪人、ニコロビン、届こりなく連行完了いたしました。両名とも現在扉の向こうよく帰ったルッチナカクブルーノカリファーセクハラです名前呼んだだけで What? 懐かしいなルッチクテウテシサは一段と出したようだ貴様のバカズラもなジャブ He has the glasses very similar to、uh, Flamingo Boy. Yeah, I need someone to take this guy out. What? Okay, math, pay attention. Oh, okay. Yeah, keep talking about Bluno, though. That man looks like he could have got dusted a couple times. Not over nine thousand, though. What the hell is that zipper? Well, I guess Luchi is the strongest of the group. Does have devil's fruit of powers added to it? What is the ability? That's what I said, bro. As this story continues to go, and we see people with just that are just baseline as strong as we are with our abilities, then add a devil's fruit on top of it. Some of these characters we get introduced to are going to be broken. So they both have the.、Uh, Transformation one. What was his? Like a dog dog fruit to match the cat cat fruit? Oh, that zipper. I know we're over here trying to humanize them here. Honestly, I'm still waiting for them to get dotted up. But to say, he seems the weakest of the group. Oh. Who's elephant? <laughs> Why does she keep saying that? Yeah, iron body. We know. We know. Oh, 
そうなのかいそうかおめえの母親はジャムがおめえおいらが気持ち悪い It's a real shame that we're gonna have to really slice them up, but what can you do? I mean, I like these three, these three better than the uh, the original four. Lucci's group, they just have no personality at all. They just seem pretty dry, so it's kind of like whatever, but. Uh oh, they're playing some serious music here. Domo are, Omaidachi, Gonenka Nyoyobu Nimu, Jitsuni Kokurosa. Wonder why they choose to answer to him. I guess rank, regardless of power. Bro, that cat even had like a Sage of Six Path staff with the rings on it and everything. Oh. Oh. That man had a box of devil's fruits just sitting in his drawer and shit. Like he's got the infinity stones just in his back pocket. What? Have we ever seen them like that before? I think we saw them in, in, uh, we saw it in, uh, Luffy's flashback when he originally ate his, but besides that, they were literally just, they're chilling. I'm really curious about that too. Is Are there just like fields of devil's fruits of all different shapes and sizes and abilities? Um. And it's like, take your pick when you actually get there. Or are they sur are they scattered throughout the world? In different forests and mountainsides and deserts. I don't know. I don't know if they come just from one place every single Devil's Fruit or are they scattered. If they don't get off the boat by the end of this episode, I'm going to be upset. Oh, Frog Boy's coming with us too, right? I think so. Out here still trying to deal with this other giant. He's lost. He's lost. Please don't get stuck again. Please don't. For the love of God, do not get stuck again. I don't want to wait. I don't want to waste four episodes of everyone trying to play Where's Waldo. Man looking like fat gum over here. I mean, Nico Robin was having a little bit of a flashback there. And now that I'm starting to think about it, is there a way to take away Devil's Fruit abilities? We know with that, with ocean water, correct. You can't swim. Um, and you can't use your ability in, wait, you can use your ability in the water, you just can't swim because we saw Luffy being stretched being in water but they have what is it that specific metal or something like that which nullifies the devil's fruit um not bad not bad uh there's a special something i don't know if it's an element or metal or ocean water or whatever but i is there a way to 100 percent nullify devil's fruit ability i'm sure uh i'm only seeing almost 300 episodes there's 700 plus episodes i'm sure every single question i've ever announced to come up with 
has been addressed in some format. Um, because that would be wild if you had a Devil's Root ability that turned off all other Devil's Root abilities. Then you're just fighting base power with base power. But we're already seeing these examples of these superhumans. Um, Zoro being one of them. CP9 members being nothing, being another group. That they're doing things that the average like Nami and Usup and others can just not physically do and none of it is devil's fruit uh none of it is attributed to a devil's fruit that's just skill and power um it's going to be pretty wild i'm curious if some of the strongest characters in the story like when we get to like top 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 i wouldn't be surprised if some of them just don't have devil's fruit powers but you put Devil's Root abil ability on top of some of these baseline strengths, it's like... But I say that to say, if you had an ability that could turn off Devil's Root abilities, and you had those six abilities, or whatever the power system abilities are going to end up being as we get into more... Um, because I have I have heard that there is a power system in this show. Uh, we just haven't gotten there yet. So I'm curious... At, when it comes down to it is like the power system what gets us the strongest characters in this story is it devil's fruit that gets us the strongest ideally it would be a combination of both so we'll see how it plays out and we'll leave it there appreciate it everybody. again happy thanksgiving like share for your subscribe as always